Hi Water Signs, welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and being here with me. This is for Cancer Pisces Scorpio or to the cross watchers dealing with a water sign. We're going to be looking at what do they secretly want to tell you, okay, or communicate with you. So we'll see what comes up in the cards here. Um, don't forget to drop a like, share, or a subscribe if you enjoy this video. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, there's a sense of worry coming up. Um, Ten of Swords, Four of Cups, Six of Pentacles. They're worried about something. Your person is worried about you hurting them or them being hurt. Um, or they're scared of an ending. They're scared that you may decide to end things. Okay. Um, they're in two minds about something or they may be waiting for you to make some sort of decision and it's got them worried, okay? Um, we've got the moon here, so the cancer energy has come up. So... Okay, this person feels like something's not being answered. Okay, we've got the the King of Swords here. So this is something they've been thinking about for quite some time. Um, their thoughts are steering them <clears throat> in an unhappy place somehow. Six of Pentacles, they may be worried they're giving too much into this connection and you're not giving enough. Um, there could be fear fear that they're putting in more effort than you are and the two of ones is you know they may have people around them um telling them to keep their options open um so maybe they're fearful or they, they haven't told you yet that they may be talking to someone else on the side maybe thinking about making other plans it's like they may be thinking about making some sort of backup plan um because of what's happening in the relationship or in your connection Two of Wands, they may have made some sort of plans to travel without you, visit family, um, or take a trip. Uh, you know, they're being steered in a couple of different directions here with that Two of Wands energy. Mm. So... They, they may feel hurt about something that has happened, okay? They feel hurt or betrayed, um, and they're not in a good place about it. It's something that's occupying a lot of their thoughts. Four of Cups, you know, this, this makes me think it's a twin flame kind of energy. Um, I wonder if they're sort of second-guessing if you're their twin flame. And I suspect it's because you might have told them something recently or something, there's been a disagreement or an argument or a splitting of ways. And suddenly they're like, is this is this person really for me? Are they really my twin flame? You know, it's a mixed kind of energy, but it's it's here. Page of Pentacles is being irresponsible in this particular deck. He, like he has no plan. He looks a bit mischievous. So they're worried maybe that you're going to act up. They secretly want to tell you that they feel like you might have made an immature move, especially in regard, regards to finances, maybe. Um, they could be unhappy with maybe money you spent on something or you were irresponsible with, like, your career. <clears throat> maybe you've got a new job. And, and this person might not be too happy about it. You know, I get defeat here because you can see this creature that is is lifeless behind this King of Swords. So I get, like... They felt defeated with their words or it's like they've asked you to do something or they've pleaded you to make a, a decision or, you know, they they secretly want something here. But it's almost like they're being tight lipped about it because they're like defeated. It's like there's only so much I can say. There's only so much convincing I can do if this person doesn't want to be with me, doesn't want to change for me, doesn't want to change their plans for me. Then, you know, are they really my twin flame? So you're, you're, you're putting them in this sort of place here, in this sort of position, water signs. And yeah, it's not, it's not a comfortable position for them, I don't think. <clears throat> and suddenly they're acknowledging that they've made a lot of changes. Six of Pentacles, you know, they're acknowledging that they've, 
they've done a lot for you or they would do a lot for you and maybe they're secretly hoping you'd do the same but with the moon card they're emotional about it uh sorry the moon and the ten of swords it gives them anxiety so they're in like an anxious state they could be quite tense around you or about whatever has happened here for the both of you like this tense kind of energy hmm They could be um, talking to someone here. Uh, it doesn't have to be romantic with the two of wands. You see how she's sort of like, <clears throat> she's got the tree behind her and she's sort of like listening to what, she's like, it's someone's counsel, someone's advice. Um, so they may be talking to someone here about these problems or about what they're going through here and they're trying to seek their advice. You know, is it the best kind of advice? It's hard to say, you know, people give such different words of wisdom based on their experience and their own views. Maybe this is making this person more confused as well. Four of Cups, I think there is someone here though that wants to reveal their true feelings. So if they haven't revealed something it may come as a bit of a shock to you. Um, they've been thinking about it for quite some time. I get there's self-reflection. Now, if this, you know, especially with her looking here, I get that they want you to self-reflect on something that you've done and they don't know how to say it. They don't know how to say to you, you know, you need to look in the mirror and look at your behavior and look what's happened here. I don't necessarily feel like they want to give you a taste of your own medicine. I, I wouldn't say that's the case. Um, I would say it's more... Yeah, look, I would say it's more that they feel like you need to take a look in the mirror. Now, there might have been something you did and then they've done it only just to prove a point. Um, King of Swords is, is makes me feel like they may have done that because King of Swords, you know, he wants to teach us lessons and <clears throat> he's very strategic with the mind. So there's possibly a bit of strategy or gameplay, you know, mind games in, in this aspect because I think there's a reason why this is coming up. <clears throat> What a sign. So they feel like. They feel like the only way to do it is to do it to you. So you learn the lesson. To give you back that same. That same kind of energy. But they don't know how you're going to react. Ten of Swords. She can't see the ground behind her. Uh, below her. <clears throat> so I think. You know it could even be someone. Their friend or you know that, that person. That gave them advice. Or like you know if this water sign. Isn't going to change. Give them a taste of their own medicine. You've given so much of yourself. You know they've got this person in their ear. And they're telling them things. So I wonder if it's, it's their idea. Or it was this person's idea. And then they're doing it. Um, and they're not going to tell you, oh, so-and-so told me to do this. Because they don't want you to think badly of that person, maybe, whoever it is. They want they want you, Water Signs, to think it was their idea rather than someone else's idea. Um, but there can be some immaturity. Pages <clears throat> can represent some sort of immaturity here. Being too caught up with the moment and being impulsive. So maybe that's happened um, for them as well. But yeah, I think they're at a point where they know they've given a lot. They've done a lot. They've, they've done a lot for you. And I think they're just, they're waiting to see that in return, I think now. So I hope this has helped. Thank you for being here, Water Signs. It does mean a lot. 
um, I do hope to be in touch very soon. So thank you again, everyone, and uh, bye for now.